so guys i'll be training you guys how to solve partial fraction when it comes to cbt that is the shortest method you can use since um cbt is um you have to be very you have to be time conscious when it comes to cbt so therefore you have to be very very fast when dealing um with when writing your cbt exams you understand so i'll be showing you the fastest the fastest method you can use when it comes to partial fraction now let's let's get down to business the best way to solve partial fraction when it comes to cbt is just put the value of x in the given question as zero so that is let x is equals to zero now putting x equals to zero in the given question we have zero minus seven times zero that, that will give us zero plus nine over zero plus two all in brackets multiply by zero minus one all squared now in the numerator we have nine and in the denominator we have negative one square will give us positive one multiply by two we have two so definitely we have nine over two as our given answer now when you insert the value of x equals to zero in the given question you now test your options you understand when you test your option the one that has the same value as that of the given question when you insert the value of s equals to zero is your right answer you understand now let's move down to the options as well so we have three over x plus two in option a we have three over zero plus two minus two over zero minus one plus one over zero minus one all squared you understand now we have three over two minus minus that will give us plus plus two over one plus two over one plus negative square will give us a positive one then we have one over one now taking it taking the lcm of this we have the lcm as two so we have two into that is one one times three that's three plus two times two that's four plus two times one that's two so we have these as what nine over two which shows that nine over two satisfy our given question therefore option a is correct so this is this for this video thanks